Milad, has anyone ever came in with only one cent? Honestly, I don't think I've ever had a customer come into the subway with just a penny. Well, maybe once. You'll understand what I mean by the end of the video. I think 99% of people walking into a food place know to have some form of payment on them, and the other 1% are, well, Ryan Trahan and his supporters. But something that commonly happens at the store is that a customer will get an item, and the total will come out to something like $6.99, and they'll hand me $7, and there's this awkward pause for 2-3 to three seconds where I'm just fumbling around in the register trying to scoop out a single penny, while the hungry person in front of me just wants to eat their sandwich and they'll just start aggressively pointing at the tip jar while i'm cluelessly still trying to dig out a penny sometimes customers will just walk away and i'll be there like sweet a free penny other times they'll very politely say <coughs> sir please keep the chain and i get to just throw that penny into my tip jar honestly it makes my day i think nothing compares to the time when a woman was short one penny and i told her that it was completely okay and she had enough and she could just take her sandwich and go but she insisted on going out to her car and getting the penny so i stood there waiting for a minute for the penny while there were two customers online just staring me down and when she came back she brought back two pennies and she dropped the second one into the tip jar for me and that that made my day it's kind of crazy how often you get tipped a penny you would think it's a rare occurrence but think about it the change that people never want to carry is unfortunately the penny which is why the government also has talked a lot about getting rid of pennies which is so sad to me please don't take away the penny but by the way did you know that it costs two cents to make a penny according to npr this has to be an issue right guys i guess that's how you know inflation is bad but anyways even though we've never had somebody come in with a penny before at the old subway we had a few occurrences where people would come in with zero pennies or no money and this is a tricky situation depending on the behavior of somebody coming in with no money i like to supply a free meal and help where i can but i know there are a lot of restaurant owners that never want to give away free food because they worry that the person is going to come back again and they're going to expect a free meal time and time again in my experience this never happens it's usually a person who just is down on their luck and you would never understand how far a free meal can go for them so whenever i was working and somebody would come in and ask for a free meal so long as they were polite and just a good person i could just get that vibe i would always give them a free six inch and sometimes cookies and chips you know you would never understand how far something like that can go and i've talked about it in the past with these stories but i think where i drew the line is i would never allow somebody to abuse my kindness but as my mom always taught me if you're in a position to help somebody then do it because if you're not ever going to help someone else why would anyone ever help you when you may need it thank you guys for watching this video also about 79 percent of you guys aren't subscribed so if that's you please hit that red button it helps me out so much like the video and comment a story have an amazing day. I love you guys. Peace.